Well, good morning, guys. You are watching Outdoors for Adventure. And we are at a state park in Missouri. This is Friday. We came in yesterday evening and set up. And our campsite number 18 is very unlevel. Very, very unlevel. As most of these are. You can hardly get a stake in the ground here. And I 3D printed that little tongue flag holder, but right before we came, in fact, it printed all night before we left, and it fits up in the hitch, and then, as you can see, it holds some flags. Uh, right behind the bathhouse. We haven't checked anything out yet, but we are going to later, and, uh, there's these little bug things, and man, they are just all inside our camper, flying around out here. And if you've got a light on, well, the light went off, but they would just flock to the lights. I don't think they bite or anything, but man, and they're so small, they get through the screen. It's a pretty campsite, though, or campground. Just very hilly. We're on a place called the Ridge Campground. And this will be beautiful once these leaves change too. There's lake on each side of us. But that's our camp site for the weekend. And uh, good thing I brought a bunch of blocks. I got the passenger side camper tire up on two two befores and could actually go up one more. And then I have all them blocks underneath the hitch. And I noticed while setting up yesterday that one of my panels on this pop up have separated. This panel right here is loose. So we're going to run to town to Walmart and I'm going to get some liquid nails. There's a board up in there. And if I can get the liquid nails on that board and then pry it, put, press this to it and just leave it pressed, it should hold it back down. Got the big double camp chair set up. We're going to use it this weekend. But I got some coffee water going. We're going to make some coffee and... Uh, Enjoy the morning while it's cool, and then when it warms up a little bit, we're going to go get the stuff I need to fix the stuff that broke in the camper. Okay, guys, I'm really digging my little hitch flag holder that we 3D printed. Anyway, told y'all I had a piece of this panel pop loose from the side of the camper. So I have taken professional strength uh, liquid nail and went all up underneath that bottom ledge because that's where it broke loose And as you can see I've got stuff pressed up against it trying to hold it in until it dries And once that dries I got some clear sealer adhesive mix That I'm gonna go along that bottom ledge and make sure that no water can get up in there Hey Ashley, what's one of the biggest things you notice about this park? There are no pine trees And what park are we in? Wapapello? Wapapello State Park. And this is the Ridge Campground. And like I said earlier, you'd be lucky to find a flat spot to put your camper here. I did see some nice ones since on up and in some other areas, but tent spots are pretty level. And this is electric only site we're in, site 18 in the ridge 
there's a pretty big camper over whereas well, you see this way it's a little bit flatter but don't let it deceive you because it's still crooked now where that big camper is back there they're on a pretty level spot that a pad and you can see some back there they're nice but uh be sure you bring your blocks so you can get everything level now that one right there i would have backed my pop-up and put it got the wheels on the tent pad and i would have here but my problem is my electric poles way over there behind the camper and i didn't have enough cord to reach over here i would have sat that sucker up on this tent pad too because i had room i could have backed it in and jackknifed it and got it right here there's plenty of room right there on that pad yeah yeah that tent pad slanted too ain't it it looks like it is but it is what it is we, you know we we may do i've got I used that, uh, I don't know, I forgot what they call that thing that you lift your trailer up with. And you'll see that I've got that thing torqued way down. I got a little football over the top, but you can see how high I had to crank that thing up. And I put two two befores up underneath the tire because I just didn't want all that weight on that stand there pushing into the tire any more than I had to. So I got those two two befores underneath there and then I let this back down. But you can see there's still some pressure on that tire. And I got a bottom layer of two befores and then I got one, two, three stacks of four by fours. So uh, we're up in the air. Luckily this thing is uh, off roady type trailer and it's got the extra long jack stands they all reached the ground and actually had could have went down some more but yeah that's the first thing that we it, it took me longer to figure out where to set the pop up and also you can see there's the park pad I actually backed up over it because behind it was more level than in front of it in fact if I would have parked on that concrete thing in fact, I did and it was level, but I was afraid I wasn't going to get the tires blocked good. So we went ahead and, and I just used that to jack it up. But yeah, it's biggest thing here is uh, the crooked sights on the ridge. But uh, later we're going to go check out the dam area. We've already drove through a couple of other campgrounds. And some of those do have nicer spots and everything. But uh, it's a beautiful lake. And I said we'll get some pictures of the dam here in a little bit. And we're going to be here till Sunday, so we still got a couple of days. And clouded up, and temperature's been really nice today. But if that, if the clouds disappear, then it's going to get sunny and probably 90 degrees. And to me, it feels a little bit more humid here than at home. But Asha said she didn't think it was much more humid. So they do have some really nice cabins at this state park. That one down there is really cool. Got to walk to get down there, but site number, cabin number 12. That's really nice. And then there's another one back there. I would imagine that's up on stilts, maybe. No, it's just not as high as I thought it would be. Pretty cool, though. Lake Wapapello. This is a lot of parking and boat ramps down here. And there's a store. That building over there says it's a store. This would be a good area to kayak right here. There's a really good, if you come back here, Tim, you stand. There's a really cool spot. Uh, that boat just went through it. Oh, that little. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. This is a spillway area off of Wapella Lake. 
we're just out driving around, kind of exploring some of the area. Everything's so dry, it seems. So we just came in and visited a visitor center in another part of the lake. I think People's Creek, uh, some of the other camping areas are over here on this side of the lake. There's a lot of concrete right there. Auxiliary Spillway.
Well, you know what they say, when you go camping, it's always going to rain. Uh, thunderstorms, and just real light rain right now. I guess y'all can even see it. Nice, slow shower. Cooling everything off a little bit. We're inside the camper playing cards.